Curly nine right smoke. 60. Early eight left hook. Long. Break. And eight right point four. Tight. Late four plant. Loose. Hey there, RC Girl here. Today we're taking a look at the 1.8 scale Ford Puma Rally 1. This is the latest release from Sen Racing and my first ever Rally RC. I am so excited to check it out. It looks so cool with the Red Bull livery. I've been really intrigued by rally car racing for a while and this is a whole new platform release from Sen Racing. So let's dive on in. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm all about helping people grow in the remote control hobby. So if you don't wanna miss my future videos, make sure to subscribe. I am also at almost 100K subscribers on my channel and that is huge thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for your support. Also a big thank you to my growing community of patrons on Patreon. I appreciate your contributions in helping me bring more RC content to you guys. So thank you so much. All right, let's take it away. If you're new to rally racing, it's a form of motorsports where drivers compete against the clock on public roads. These cars are highly modified versions of road cars. The WRC or World Rally Championship is a year long season of rally car racing. Drivers face a lot of conditions over a racing season, battling snow, fog, rain, night drives, and more. In addition to the main driver, there's also a co-pilot or a co-driver giving instructions of the conditions ahead. Shorty right, and the quick gate left, stop. 40, narrow late one left. Kind of a neat race format and I'm super excited to try my first RC version. This is a replica of a 2023 Ford Puma. The World Rally Championship was established in 1973 and since then it has evolved over the years. The use of Rally One cars is actually very new to WRC. They were introduced in 2022. They are actually a hybrid with upwards of 500 horsepower. They require the use of fully electric power in the transit between stages. They have insane amounts of torque and power, and they introduced the hybrid feature to help reduce emissions and be more environmentally friendly. I have been really impressed by the Ford F250 and Ford F450 releases by Sen Racing in the past. I'll put a link to those videos up here if you wanna check them out. If you want to learn more about the World Rally Championships or Rally One Racing, I'll put a link to a couple interesting documentaries if you want to check them out. Now let's take a look at the Sun Racing Rally One. Like, how freaking sick is this thing? Seriously. So cool. <laughs> All right, this is what came in the box. So you're gonna get an instructions pack. Looks like some decals here, a serial number, a couple tools. You're going to get a three channel transmitter here. This is the same one that comes with the Sun Racing F250 and F450. I believe we're only using two of the three channels. We will have to take a look in a second. And then you have this freaking sick looking Rally One car. And here are the dimensions of the car. So this is a 1.8 scale Puma Rally. And in real life though, these cars are kind of small. So it's not a huge, huge car, even though it's a 1.8 scale, it doesn't feel too big. In the WRC, there are strict regulations for how these are built. They wanted to keep the production costs fair across competitors. So these are around $500,000 to produce, uh, the full size ones at least. There are strict regulations on a lot of things, including like the wing size. In real life, they're required to have a safety cell or a roll cage around the drivers. I'm sure you've probably seen some pretty nasty crashes with these. These drivers are freaking gnarly. This is a Ford EcoBoost hybrid. Uh, even though this RC is an all electric version, the Rally One cars are actually hybrids. Here we have the names of our two drivers. As I mentioned, they usually have a primary driver and a navigator or co-driver. I'm pretty new to rally cars myself, so I'm excited to sort of explore this with you guys. If you know a little bit more, feel free to chime on in in a comment. We have licensed Pirelli tires here. 
Lots of decals on this body, all of the sponsors, our windows, our sticker here. We do have some molded plastic components like this rear wing here, our intake vent, as well as our side mirrors. We got our Ford branded front grille here, which is a sticker. Also our lights, which are a sticker, so no lights included as part of this. Our suspension feels pretty nice here, nice and squishy. Because of the varied conditions that drivers face, in real life, these would have really, really tough suspension. Looks like we have two body clips up here and two body clips in the rear holding on the body. Let's take it away. All right, let's talk about this chassis. So there actually are quite a few aluminum parts. If you look underneath the truck here, this is a solid aluminum piece here in the middle. Nice graphics here with some laser etching it looks like. The two side panels, these trays are plastic. Our front and rear shock towers are also aluminum. Really nice that it's inset too, so your battery actually sits below, it's nice and protected. For the most part, it should keep dirt and rocks from kicking into your sensitive components. Looking up front here, we have a nice foam bumper to protect from any collisions that will happen. This is a four wheel drive car. We have open front and rear diffs. So if you hold one of the tires, the other one will still spin. We can see how this runs and if we get a lot of wheel spin on the train we're doing, if so, we can increase the weight of our diff oil in the front and the rear. Here's where our battery goes. We have two Velcro straps going in each of the directions. It is a little on the clunkier side to get a battery in there. I have a 5000 milliamp 2S and the dimensions fit perfectly. Definitely would recommend a hard case LiPo since we're driving a faster vehicle. It'll be better with helping to prevent any punctures to your LiPo. Talking about our suspension, this car comes with 12 millimeter big bore oil filled shocks. These are going to be coil filled shocks. They come with a three millimeter hardened shaft. It does not say the spring rate for these, but these are a racing spring setup. Lots of different mounting positions for our shocks. I think there was an issue with the first run of the shocks. They were leaking a little bit of oil. That should be though resolved in the full run of these cars. Doesn't say anything about the shock weight oil, though it seems pretty light. For our electronics, this is a Hobby Wing WP Max 10 SCT 100 amp 3S capable ready to run sensorless ESC. That was a mouthful. Can run off two or three S lipos. As I mentioned, I'm probably going to start with two. This is also compatible with NIMH batteries. It's great that it's waterproof and dustproof. The SC has a really nice aluminum heat sink here on the exterior as well as a fan. And if you want to run a higher voltage servo, you can actually switch the internal BEC from six to 7.4 volts. You can also modify between five levels of acceleration or punch as well as nine levels of braking. Here is our on and off switch here. It looks like there's a programming button. The ESC comes with a Dean connector. I run XT60s. You can either solder on your own connector if you're comfortable doing that. I have a video on that, which I'll link to, or you can get an adapter. Our motor here is actually a Sen Racing motor. This is a 3658 3000 kV brushless motor. It is sensorless. So you got a fan on your motor and you got a fan on the ESC. Should keep things pretty cool. Here is our receiver box and we have a little antenna coming out of there. Treat this with care. And I was right, it is in fact only two channels. You can see our servo and our throttle cables coming out of our receiver. And lastly, our servo, this is a 12 kilogram Metal Gear servo. Probably the first thing to go out in most of my cars or trucks or something that I would recommend upgrading early. This can be run off of six volts, so don't change the BEC to 7.4, otherwise you risk ruining your servo. And it comes with a 25 tooth servo horn. I believe it's plastic. I can't really see super far in there, but I think it's plastic probably for the best since it's easier to replace a servo arm in a crash than it is to replace your servo. All right, time to turn this on. That sounds really nice. We're gonna full throttle on 2S. We have one thing left to do and that is to go drive this. First, we're gonna try this on some pavement in my driveway. Then we're gonna see how it handles off-road and take it to a pump track. So let's take it away. 
All right. thing is fast and this is just on 2s kind of crazy i did have to adjust our steering trim a little bit oops nice punch nice braking that's full brake whoa so yeah there's like this divot thing here in the driveway it's not that big but the body sits really low on this. So after driving it for a little while, I think the best terrain is definitely gonna be on road or hard packed dirt with not a lot of rocks. So I'm full brake right now and it kind of still wants to go down so you can adjust the braking settings on the ESC. Now that we're a little warmed up, let's take this to a place where we can really open it up and test it out. Let's head out to the local pump track. We're at the pump track. We're gonna give it sort of its maiden run. All the kids are back in school so we're approaching the pump track and no one's here. So let's take it away. What do I think of the Sun Racing Rally One? They did a really great job with the body extensive decal set. It looks super cool. As I mentioned before, the best terrain for this is going to be on road or hard packed dirt. On 2S, this definitely screams. It's pretty impressive the speed you get on a 2S LiPo. So I can only imagine on 3S. At some points, we did get some rocks kicking up into the chassis and binding up the steering. It would definitely benefit from a chassis cover to keep rocks and dust out of your sensitive electronics. Exciting to try my first ever rally car. So very cool. I don't know if people are going to start like a racing circuit for rally cars. Is there one already? I don't know. Um, but huge thank you to Sen Racing for sending one of these out to review on my channel. Thanks to Mountain Mike for being our stunt driver. <laughs> Professional, close course. Do attempt. See you later.